uh, Florida, which needs to just be cut off the map at this point. They they be just doing the most. I don't know from taking out, not allowing certain curriculums in the school, removing certain books. It's like they trying to do everything in their power to, if not erase Black history, sugarcoat it, or like I don't know, like y'all, America is America. Like deal with it. Like yeah, let your kids learn what. America was like. Why are you trying to hide it and like come on? Come on now, dog. It's my, my, it's my best little boozy impression. Come on now, dog. So this latest thing Florida did, um they changing the way that slavery will be taught and grades K through 12. And they will now teach students that black people benefited from slavery because it taught them useful skills. This is a part of the new African-American history standards that was just approved in Florida. Like, so when you get them textbooks and they talk about slavery and everything that went down, they're going to point out or try to make a point that black people benefited from it as if it was a good thing. Like, yeah, we tied y'all up. Yeah. We whooped y'all. Yeah. We raped y'all. Yeah. We did all these things to y'all, but it taught y'all some useful tools in the process. Like make it make sense. So of course, everybody except Florida, (laughs) except the ones who voted to approve this, is like against it. Many are calling it a step backwards. Even the state teachers union is blasting it. But this this is Florida. It's Florida. Um, so their new standards includes what some feel is controversial language about how. Slaves develop skills in which some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. Um, it's crazy. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Um, they're also going to be teaching about how black people were also perpetrators of violence during race mac- massacres. It says instruction includes acts of violence perpetrated against and by African-Americans like. Man. I don't know. I don't know. I know this is like. For the people who live in Florida, who are like completely against the, the government there and. DeSantis and like do you feel like you're just like trapped is it just like damn like we got to live in this state that's like doing the most and now my kids got to go to these schools that's going to teach them that slavery was wasn't so bad do you move like I mean For the, for the amount of like the the uproar and the the disapproval of of these things, you would think it would be enough to get Ron DeSantis out of office if he's like the head of which it seems the head honcho behind a lot of these measures that's that's taking place. Like, what's up? Y'all outnumbered down there? Y- in terms of votes, voting, something's got to give. Something's got to give. Vice President Kamala Harris expressed her um, frustration and anger behind this new thing that's going to be going on. And she mentioned that we're not going to stand for it. 
And I don't know, I don't know what it's gonna take, but Florida's been wilding for a little while now. <laughs> and yikes. That's all I could say is yikes. I don't know. Y'all gonna have to get get, get it together. The teachers union representing about 150,000 teachers. They're calling it a big step backwards and a disservice to Florida students. 150,000 teachers. I mean, I'm sure some of them are with, with it, sure. Some of them want this, but all of y'all that's against it, election time. Y'all got to get out there at every chance y'all get and change change the way them, them office look, offices look. That's the only way. It's the only way. <laughs>